right now your entire universe is being generated by your unconscious mind. It's an unconscious set of patterns that just keep playing. And you see nature goes around in its pattern. The planetary system goes around. Everything is in a pattern. And everything grows in that pattern. You include it. That's an unconscious experience. The human being has the capacity to take that experience, recognize what's going on in the experience, recognize the pattern, understand what's going on in the pattern, and shift that pattern into anything. Faster, slower, bigger, longer, wider, deeper. But it has to be conscious. So a lot of people say, well, if it's my own conscious, how am I going to be conscious of it? You have to push yourself to be conscious of it. You have to look at the patterns and, and start from an internal world altering them. Because the internal world is generating the external anyway. So conscious reality creation is recognizing the pattern understanding the pattern, forgiving yourself for the limitation that you're experiencing because if you experience something twice in a row, you're in the past. You're in a pattern. You're going to want to forgive yourself for whatever that is in order to release the energy on the pattern. If you understand that process, you start to become a technician at conscious reality creation. I'm starting to understand this dynamic. And the dynamic is me being able to imagine something I want, fully engage in it emotionally, and expect it in the future that it's coming, and live that right now. In that process, what some people would say is, your reality is being drawn to you, you're attracting. You're not really attracting, you're actually generating. It's all you in the first place, unconsciously. Now all you did is be being conscious of what was unconscious. I've taken responsibility in such a way that I've altered this unconscious experience. That's conscious reality created. It isn't like, oh, today I created this and this and this. And I'm like, well, did you imagine that in the morning? Well, no, it just happened. That's not conscious. You might have had a wonderful day and it might have went your way and you might want to take responsibility, all the power you can out of that. I did that. But if you didn't really consciously do it beforehand and then watch it happen without controlling the environment, you're not in conscious reality creation. Conscious reality creation is not consciously controlling the environment. It's actually interacting from my internal place to such a way that I'm beginning to love myself and I'm watching that love change the way I relate to things within myself. And the outside shows that change. Physical reality, and a lot of people have seen this, physical reality is a mirror. It's a mirror. A mirror isn't really who you are either. A mirror is an image that you're seeing in something, but it isn't who you are, and you're not even looking at yourself. You're looking at a reflection of yourself. Reality is the same thing in that manner. It's a reflection of yourself, but it's not you. This is why if you try to have... A, outside reality validate you, it damages you. Because this is me and I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make it influence me. But if it doesn't do it, I'm not gonna do it. That feedback loop separates you from being conscious. Because if I don't understand that it's just an image, so conscious reality creation is imagining a future that I'm emotionally invested in, and I hold the line even when I'm not seeing it because I know that I will. So it's a future creates the present. Now, if I can't create this present, I've got to find out why I can't hold it. There'll be a reason you can't hold it. And that reason, or one of the steps you need to getting to that reality, I have to solve that step. The better I am at conscious reality creation, the more elegant those steps become. So conscious reality is just really, in essence, you are becoming, you are in the process of becoming the God being that you're the reflection of. 
So what kind of reality do you want to have to share? One where everyone's in pain, struggling, feeling sorry for themselves, pushing everything away, not my president. You cannot change reality. That, those are not people who are awake. Right now, people think they're awake. We're going to impeach him. That's just the adolescent gone cray cray. The world is in a state of adolescence. Adulthood only comes with conscious choice. So in order to be a conscious reality creator, I have to become an adult. And you can't become the adult that the adolescent thinks is what an adult is. It has to be your own thing. That's where the paradigm shift comes in. You design emotionally what that experience is going to be. And when you start acting on that set of values, you will see reality start changing. So conscious reality creation is being an artist, wanting to be on a path of artistry, to consciously direct my experience where I can first create a beautiful reality with one other person. <laughs> then maybe I get some friends. And then maybe I have an impact on my building and maybe my community and maybe my state and maybe the world. Because you can do it. That's a big thing and I don't want to give too much to you, but that's totally in your grasp.